What's up guys? Welcome back to Project Redbeard. Got something pretty cool for you guys today. So uh, a few days ago, uh, going over the Russia nuclear threat news. Um, I'm reading over it and I haven't been posting videos hunting seasons here. Uh, and probably after this video, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be way up in there somewhere. Okay. Um, but so this package was actually supposed to come end of this month. Got here super early, so let's get into it. BetterGeiger.com radiation detectors now. Um, yes, I'm sitting in my driveway because, uh, why not? Anyways, so I did cut the tape on this. I uh, actually haven't really opened it yet. I just couldn't do, hold the phone and do it both. So I ordered the Geiger counter with the waterproof case. Let's see what we got in here. Purchase agreement and disclaimer radiation test source. Uh, so I did purchase the test source as well. So it's supposed to be uh, radioactive material. Um, get a user manual here. I don't know if it's got any. Hey, pictures. I can understand it. All right. Uh, pretty simple. Looks like this. Yeah, it's just the three buttons. It's got this rubber protector sleeve. Oh, cool. It's got a thing for a belt. Just carry it on your side. I like that. Piece of foam. Uh, I guess that's just a standard waterproof case that they put the foam in to hold that. Give you a little carabiner. And you get a sticker. BetterGeiger.com sweet all right so let's see here I guess this comes out of here sorry guys trying to do this one-handed and I did read on this on the uh, online that this thing does take double a battery so before I even open this up I run in the house and I grabbed two double a batteries if I remember where I put them Okay, sweet. Let's see what this thing does. I wonder if I'm radioactive. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Forgive me, guys. Usually I have a little bit better setup than this, but I was a little excited. Just wanted to do this video. All right. So, power on. All right. Now it's gonna come across here as it is on my phone. This thing is like waving across the thing, but uh, you, know, you got MR per hour, normal CPN. So you got these different modes. So I like that. That's pretty cool. Gives you pretty much all your data in there. And it also has like a just a basically a black mode for quiet. So yeah, these are your sense power ons for your force for fifty seconds. Alright. So let's take this test source and this little bag. Comes with some kind of like little warning paper thing. I don't know. Let's check it out. Is this a disclaimer document? I'm assuming it's because it's radioactive material that... Oh, shit. Huh. Small quantity of license-exempt... Naturally occurring radioactive material handle and dispose of properly. Hmm. It's a, it's a got the radiations. Wow. All right. 
So let's uh, I don't know, let's go to say this one normal. There you go. So point zero one four. Put that on there. See what happens. No, that's not gonna stay like that. Let me, let me figure this. Let's set this flat. Okay. Oh, still in the normal level there, though. 27, 839, 0 .839, 0 .983. Oh, man, we're in the highs now. Look at that. And you can, uh, I guess, turn the sound down. Oh, you can turn the sound off. Okay. All right. Well, put that back on there. Ain't that something? Yeah, man. Well, that's pretty sweet. So this little radio action. I'm in the highs now. Let's see what's reading on these other ones. Ah, uh, well, what's per hour, yeah. Oh. This is pretty cool. It gives you, like, all the details, like, especially right here. I know it's kind of fuzzing on you there, but I'm trying to do it so you can see it and read it. Detector data. Calibration 370. And there's the black mode still works so. though. Wow. Cool. Interesting. So, uh, everything's kind of going down now that I took that little piece away. Obviously, um, that little piece is just has a little bit of radiation in it, or I guess, you know, naturally occurring. Um, radiation and this is going down now that the radiation is gone they say this is super accurate um you know because it runs uh, it doesn't run like the gas tube um it runs a different i forget what they call it a cylinder some kind of nader thing i don't know about to lose my box the wind here um so um so right here we're about normal yeah you know, just coming down here in the low numbers. Going closer to that. Yeah, whatever. Zero, zero, six. Um, yeah. I think it's pretty sweet. Now, I will say, uh, this thing was kind of expensive. So, it is uh, made in the United States of Merca. Right? Uh, what I would say about this. So, I think this is going to be a, a, a good... Um, thing to have and you know if you guys want to spend the money i think for the waterproof case uh the test piece and the geiger counter it was like 219 dollars uh, i picked it up on amazon and um yeah so first impressions uh so you got just your standard like plastic casing here uh it's pretty light you know the batteries are heavy without the batteries it's really light uh, the only thing that I'm not a huge fan of, now I like the push button, um, but I don't know that I'm a super huge fan of the plastic uh, up and down switches. I feel like those could, you know, break if you, you know, did it, you know, mess with them too much. Um, that's just me. Um, but I could be wrong. You know, I could be, I could be really wrong. Um, but this rubber padded uh, case here is super nice. Um, let's see here. This waterproof case is pretty nice, actually. It's got, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. 
It's got a nice seal on it. Closes tight. It's hard plastic. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is there. I don't know if it's like a little drain or no idea. Maybe keep moisture out. Probably makes sense. Um. So yeah, that is my better Geiger. Dot com model S1 Geiger counter and reader bedeeter deeter thing. So, uh, yeah, guys, with uh, the current, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. Get you guys self some uh, potassium iodine, pick you up a Geiger counter. There's a couple other ones out there that are that are pretty decent. Um, and uh, yeah. Get you guys some emergency seeds, you know, like uh, mylar bags, you know, vegetables, fruits, things like that. If you have to migrate, uh, might be something that you have to do, plant your own food to, you know, survive. So, you know, try to get some of them if you can. I know a lot of people don't prep. Um, and if you don't, you know, it's a good, good time to, to pick up stuff. It's really never too late to start, you know, getting supplies. So don't think just like, you know, it's too late for me to even do anything to help me survive because, uh, you know you can do something to help you survive two months hey it's two months more you get to live right so um yeah uh i don't know i think for the money i think it's a good product i know that little test subject there you know reading in the high level um doing a more you know detailed search online i found this thing is uh pretty it's supposed to be really accurate and it can detect pretty uh small levels of radiation now that's a super small level radiation like i mean if there's a nuclear you know strike or something like that you would definitely really be picking up some signals um but yeah guys that's uh there right there go pick you up something um and i just got to say this guys you know uh a lot of people there's a lot of people out there saying that you know russia ain't gonna do that that they're you know afraid or they're fearful or you know whatever I just want to say this, though, that if the United States government wasn't thinking that they were going to do something and, and do something with nuclear weapons, why would they spend 290 some million dollars on uh, end plate, which is basically uh, medicine that you give to people that are, you know, basically radiation sickness, 200 million, 290 million dollars on that just to give out to people i mean you know if something happened they're gonna get though they're not gonna just spend 290 million dollars if they don't think that he's gonna do it i don't know that's just me but uh yeah guys so kind of hope you like that little unboxing there and if uh you guys were wanting to get a geiger counter um I think it's a pretty good one, you know, for definitely for the money. I know there's some more expensive ones out there. If you guys want to splurge and spend four, five, six hundred dollars, whatever, hey, be my guest. If you've got it to, to spend on it, go for it. Um, you know, I had some other things I needed to, to purchase, and it's hunting season, so uh, buying some hunting stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah, guys, uh, I think things are going to get a little crazy. I don't know, but, uh, hey, it's fall, winter's right around the corner, I'm excited for it, I love, I love winter time, love fall, and, uh, yeah, I guess, you know, and I gotta get used to loving, uh, buying things to, uh, help me in case we're in nuclear, uh, fallout, cause that's what I've been doing. So, yeah, man. Man and ladies. Because I know there's probably some ladies out there watching this too. You know, it's always good to uh, to be ready. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say, guys. It's been a long week. Um, I'm wore out. I'm exhausted. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, guys. Yes, if you're looking for one, I, I say that uh, it seems like a good product. I haven't really got to take it out and play, you know, with it yet. Go around and test rocks and whatever. You know, find radiation, you know, naturally occurring radiation everywhere. I uh, haven't, haven't went out and, uh, you know, done all that. But um, 
I'm going to, and I'm probably going to make a video of it, but uh, right now, I'm trying to put some deer meat in the freezer, so, yeah. But, uh, yes, stay safe out there, and, uh, you know, don't think it's too late to start getting things to help keep you alive. It's always a good time. Never too late. See you guys.